It's the real deal. 100%. Electric. It's the real deal. Yeah. You know, other than football, the Super Bowl is known for one thing commercials. And because we're a car website, don't know if you realize, we're going to talk about the four big car ads that we saw at this year's Super Bowl. And when I say four big ones, they were the only ones. It was a really quiet year for car advertising. Kia, EV9, very cute, girl ice skating, spinning around doing a little thing, all for grandpa. How heartwarming. Really heartwarming that you have $80,000 to spend on an electric car. BMW wanted to show off its all new 5 Series and i5, and who better be a spokesman for a car like that than Christopher Walken, and everyone else just doing impressions of it. Thank you. Of course, enjoy your coffee. Careful, it's hot. Okay, thanks. It's a BMW ad that reminds you of the hell of actually being Christopher Walken. Being an i5 owner, probably slightly less hell. Next up, we've got Toyota taking a different approach. They're not interested in advertising EVs at all. I mean, they only have one and it's kinda So they're showing off their trucks and the rugged capabilities of them. It really shows where Toyota is seeing 2024 going. Again, not gonna be a huge year for EVs in their mind and they are not going to try and expedite that process whatsoever. Finally, we have the most curious one, Volkswagen. I'm sure if you guys Google Volkswagen 1940s, you'll get some interesting things showing up online, but let's pretend we live in a world where Volkswagen didn't exist until 1949, after a situation happened. We get to see a beautiful motif of America in the late 40s and early 50s, and the Volkswagen Beetle kind of growing with us, the brand as well. It's really nice, and then you can't help but think about, why did they start in 1949? What happened before then? Volkswagen. You could have just not put the date. No one would have really noticed otherwise, but it's so glaringly obvious what happened. At least you paid a lot of money for this ad. Of these four ads, which one was your favorite? Let us know down below. For more on this and all things automotive, check out jalopnik.com.